What's up YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. Before we start the video, hope everyone is safe and sound at home, staying healthy, and most importantly, washing your hands. This situation is scary and this virus is scary, but we will get through it and go back to living amazing lives. Also, if you haven't already, press subscribe to the channel because most of my views aren't coming from subscribers of the channel. So subscribe if you haven't already. So the topic of today's video is Eyes of the World, but mainly the solo section, that E major to that B minor. We'll look at the two chords, the scales of those chords, and how we can combine E major and B minor soloing, and how just by hitting one note can dictate whether we're on the rhythm E major or if we're on the B minor. Nothing crazy, but one note can really make a difference on how it sounds and everything. So if you're interested, keep watching the video. So, Eyes of the World, today's topic of discussion slash video, obviously. Amazing Dead song, so much fun to play and listen to, and the jams are mostly incredible in that song. It's amazing. So, we'll look over the chord progression, the scales, and some cool licks you can do over the song. So, let's go. So, the song takes place in E major, and the groove is from something like... And then over the solo, it does the exact same groove, but then incorporates a B minor. So before we take a look at any phrases or anything super, super amazing, let's break it down into the basics. Scales. So let's go. First scale would be this E major. E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E. Basic E major scale. But when it goes to this B minor, you'll also play a B minor scale, but it'll be a B Dorian scale. A minor scale, but with a major sixth. So instead of a G being the minor sixth in B minor, we're gonna make it a G sharp, make it the major sixth. So here's the scale. B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B. B minor scale. So now let's take a look at some phrases and some cool stuff you can do. When you're over this E major seven, you can solo all you want in E major. And a cool thing you can do is really outline that E major seven notes. So you can take something like Let's actually zoom in. Yeah, like that. You can play, like I said, literally E major seven notes. So E, second, slide up to the third, G sharp, fifth, E, major seven, Six, five. Slower. Right 
right there you spell that in E major 7. And again, like I just showed, feel free to solo all over you want in E major. E major. And if you want something super advanced, we can include the Instagram famous lick, hashtag Tomo's lick in this, which is slowly. Because again, that's E major 7, but that's a two octave arpeggio. And how I start it is I start on that major 7, that D sharp, and then slide to the root, which is the E. So let's break it down. Like I said, I play it starting from the major seven, sliding to that root, and then let's take a look at this first octave arpeggio. Root, third, fifth, major seven, root. one octave E major 7. And now if you know your triads, right here is another E major 7, which is the second part of this lick. Slower. So right there you have an E major 7 arpeggio in two octaves. And the fancy part is you slide from this major 7 to this 9. And you pull off back to that major seven. Major 7, goodness and funness. So now let's take a look at this B minor. Remember, B minor, but we're playing the Dorian scale. So it's B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B. That's basically an A major scale, but starting from the B. So when we get up here, for example, we do this, a ma this E major lick. How do we get from here to that B minor? Well, B is right here, so we can literally go to the third, which is that D and just have some fun in E major. A major, sorry. Back 
the E. Right, because here B minor would be B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B. But I see that as still just A major. B minor. They're the same notes, just different starting point. Again, if you go from this E major, So, look at that E major as pure E major scale, like I said. And then when you go to that B minor, depends where you're on the fingerboard, you can just see that as A major if you're up here, right? So I hope this video made sense. It's been a long day today already with all this news about this virus happening. Hope everyone's healthy and safe. And if you need any questions, I'll be here on Instagram. Email me. I want to go more in depth and do some Skype lessons. Let me know. But until next time, stay safe. Wash your hands. I'll see you guys next time.